So Beauty Addict 29 asked, do you take anything for your migraine? I have tried a ton of the, um, what they call abortive meds. They're meds you take as you get a migraine to lessen the severity, to get rid of it. And I've never found any of those to be very effective. The best I found with the medicines that were abortive medicines is I could get my migraine down to four to six hours, but they had a lot of side effects. And the problem with me is I would take the medicine, I would feel okay in four to six hours, and then I'd have another migraine. They're called rebound headaches. Um, if you take a medicine, once the medicine wears off, it can trigger another migraine. I am really, really susceptible to that and in fact taking ibuprofen just while I'm breastfeeding to try to get rid of the pain that will give me rebound headaches and it never used to give me rebound headaches I never found ibuprofen to cause a problem but just being postpartum and maybe my hormones might be all out of whack because of breastfeeding I have found that I cannot take any kind of pain thing um, if I want to just have one <laughs> the last time I think I ended up having four migraines um, because I took the medicine to try to, you know, help and it just made it worse. So the last time I had one, I didn't take any medicine and then the whole cluster went away. So I think it just prolongs the agony if I take medicine. So I just don't take anything except an anti-nausea at this point. As far as preventing migraines, I get Botox. So every three months I go for Botox injections. I get about 40 injections between um, like my forehead area, my neck, part of the tops of my shoulders, the sides of my scalp, but it really helps. I used to have chronic migraine, so I'd have more migraine days than non-migraine days during months. Pretty much some months I would just be sick and I'd be in the bed or barely out of the bed. Um, and now I get a few every once in a while. And like this last migraine cluster I had, I took the ibuprofen, so I probably made it worse by taking the ibuprofen. I might have only ended up with one if I had just, you know, struggled through it but they end up being a lot shorter, a lot less severe, and way, way less frequent. So the Botox has really been my miracle drug. I've been on it for many years. I didn't get the Botox treatments while I was pregnant, but I did start getting them even though I'm breastfeeding. It doesn't get into the milk, and I've talked with multiple neurologists about this before I did anything while breastfeeding. So the only thing I take other than getting the Botox is I do take an anti-nausea medicine, and it is breastfeeding safe as well. So um, I do take that because the problem now that I've been having just since postpartum is the nausea is so intense and I have thrown up quite a few times when I've gotten migraines and I just can't be in the bathroom all day with a baby you know I have to be able to be somewhat functional the real thing that's helped with my migraines is the Botox and just lifestyle changes I am really big on the lifestyle changes my migraines are mostly hormonal so there's not much I can do about that but I definitely watch what I eat I make sure I get enough sleep I try to manage stress I try to make sure I eat and drink um, not skip meals I'm really prone to getting them if I skip meals or if I don't drink enough so I really watch my lifestyle uh, more so than take lots of meds although I, I get the Botox if you have a chronic illness like this, um, a lot of times you'll do pretty much anything to get rid of your symptoms and that's really what I did. At the time I gave up things like bacon and sausage, there weren't very many alternatives. I didn't know of any, but now there's nitrate-free bacon, there's nitrate-free sausages, so I can have some of the foods that I couldn't have before. I don't eat a ton of foods with preservatives and artificial flavors and colors because I have problems sometimes with MSG and I just try to eat as natural as possible. I'm not great at it. I still eat lots of junk food, I will be honest, but I do avoid anything that has traditional bacon in it. That's a, a big one for me is the nitrates. But yeah, I've had migraines since I was 11, so we're going on, we're going on getting close to 20 years of migraines, so I've really learned a lot over the last almost 20 years. I really have changed a lot of my life to make sure I don't get them.